Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel of 333. We're gonna do your weekly reading. This is going to be August 2nd through the 8th. Uh, as always, it is a <clears throat> general reading. May not resonate with all of you out there, but there will be an extended video link below. If it does resonate with you, you can check that out. Uh, everything else is in the description box if you want to request a personal reading or actually I'm sorry not right now I'm not taking on personal readings that's what I was uh, wanting to say but I am giving away personal readings each month so details are below on how to enter also no timing is flexible you know it may not uh, happen exactly on these dates but should be the timing uh, that we are focusing on so everything else is in the description box and uh, so check out what you would like there and let's get started with your reading so let's pull some cards here this is from the animal spirit oracle deck we're gonna get some messages here for pisces what does pisces need to know thank you angels and spirit for your guidance August 2nd through the 8th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There is a playlist link below if you want to check out your other signs for a full picture. So let's get some cards. Looks like we got two here. Oh, do we have two or do we have three? No, we already have our three. All righty. So let's see what you have here. Okay. Very nice. So you have, now is a lucky time, you have the rabbit spirit. So uh, definitely falling in uh, the lion's gate timing with uh, the second through the eighth, eight, eight. So uh, definitely picking up here that the lion's gate portal time period is going to be a lucky time for you here with the rabbit spirit. So you may see that things come to you easily or things just kind of work out. Uh, so very nice there. You also have here the bat spirit. This is number five. A rebirth is assured. So I feel like I was saying that things may start to transition. Things may start to move. Um, also, <clears throat> if you haven't been seeing any movement, okay, rabbits here move pretty quickly, right? Uh, and this bat looks like he's just about to wake up. So I feel like there's going to be some movement, some luck on your side, okay uh, during the week you also have here giraffe spirit see the big picture this is number 29 which is 11 so i feel there's something happening a new cycle for you a new beginning here uh, i feel that um whatever is happening i'm getting here seeing the big picture i feel like there is going to be so much more growth and opportunity whatever uh, this movement is that I am seeing. <clears throat> so very nice energy there. Let's pull some tarot, see what additional messages come out for you. <clears throat> we get one more shuffle. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing this too, probably because of the giraffe spirit, but I'm hearing you may actually um, put yourself out there for somebody. Okay, you'll know what that means, all right? Um, and I feel like it's almost in a giving way, okay? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces, August 2nd through the 8th? Let's get three cards. All right, so you have the Knight of Wands. You have the Well. And you have the Empress. Okay, very nice. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Chariot. And that's what I'm saying here. I feel like there is something here where there's going to be some forward movement. And it may be something that you were feeling either you were in conflict with or you are in a transition and maybe things weren't moving very quickly. But I'm seeing a lot of growth, a lot of prosperity, a lot of movement here in your situation. With the Chariot card, you have a strong Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a Cancerian, right? Uh, some of you actually, you know, you may be uh, taking some sort of trip or going on some sort of travel. 
travel. You have the Knight of Wands energy. So again, this is also like a very passionate energy. So you may be feeling more motivated, more excited. This can be uh, someone coming in your life, right? It can be a love, the return of a lover, or it can be a new love as well. Now you also have here uh, the well, right? So I'm getting here that this change, whatever is happening here, it's after a period of some sort of ending or some sort of sadness here with the well, right? I feel like also too, it's an energy here where this is something that you've been hoping for, wishing for, something to move forward, a rebirth, a transformation. So very positive here. I do see a lot of movement. And look at that. You have the Empress and seeing the big picture. This, Like I was saying, I feel like there is something here that is changing. There's a transformation happening. There's something here where it's opening up a lot of growth, a lot of opportunity, a lot of abundance for you. So very nice energy there. So let's uh, pull some more cards, see what additional messages come out for you, Pisces. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Pisces? August 2nd through the 8th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have the King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and you have the Page of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck, look at that, Ace of Cups. Yeah, the universe is bringing you something in very beautiful here, something very abundant, right? A new beginning. It can be a new love. It can be a rekindle of love. I'm definitely getting here an energy, you know, if this is about love for you, I feel like this may be somebody that you've had an on and off relationship with. For others, if this is not about love for you, there's something very prosperous coming in your future, something you're going to feel very happy about, something you're going to feel very passionate about, and it's it's proceeding after a time where I feel like there was some sort of sadness or some sort of ending, you know, I'm... I'm hearing like there is some sort of cycle uh, that you are closing out, right? And there is a new one beginning that's bringing about a lot of, I don't know why I'm hearing depth, right? There's a lot more to it than what it was before is the energy that I'm getting there. You have the, the Knight of Cups. So you have the Knight of Wands and you have the Knight of Cups. So an energy here where I feel there is some sort of offer with this Ace of Cups. It can be a love offer, right? Can be a job offer, okay? Some sort of proposition coming your way. I feel here too, it could even be an apology. There may be somebody here who is giving you an apology and it's going to change things, right? Now I do see with this Two of Pentacles, as I said, I feel like there could be somebody in your life that you may be may have had an on and off relationship with or you know this can just be about you juggling different things in your life finances weighing your options here now for some of you you could have uh two loves here there's two nights here right a lucky time <laughs> uh rabbits are uh very busy here so you could have two people in your life one that uh you know, you may be dating two people here with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, one could be somebody from the past and, and, you know, one could be somebody new coming in for you. And there may be a decision here you're having to make. But uh, I do feel like there is some sort of good news here with the Page of Pentacles, right? There's some sort of message coming through to you, some sort of new beginning. Uh, here with the uh, Empress. Now, this may be something here, you know, if this is a job offer uh, or you're going back to school or something like that, this can be about being practical. Maybe you're learning some sort of new skill. Um, and that's why it's saying here, seeing the big picture, because there may be a lot more to this than you anticipate. Because I do feel like there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of room for growth and prosperity and abundance coming in for you. So you may have uh, received some sort of job offer that uh, you are going to be able to learn new skills or maybe you're going back to school. Uh, but for others, I do get that this is uh, a, a love relationship as well. With the Ace of Cups, 
there's definitely an energy of you getting to a place where you're going to feel very peaceful you're going to feel very calm if you felt in the past that things were a bit rocky here with the two of pentacles it's an energy where you're coming out of that um, difficult time or that rocky time and things are going to be much more consistent look at that that's your third night right three nights here uh, signifying that there is definitely change ahead for you and consistency okay there's definitely um, an offer or maybe even more than one offer coming your way this could even be about you know you juggling love and you also juggling your professional life you may have offers coming left and right is what i'm getting here so it's very nice energy for you pisces let's pull some card some more cards thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what additional messages do you have for pisces i want to let you know pisces if you do decide to do the extended it will be on uh the person that is already in your life uh whether you are you know there's distance between the two of you or separation but uh, whoever i see here returning we will talk about what they're thinking and feeling about you their upcoming actions and we'll do love messages and guidance so let's pull a few more cards here for you pisces if it turns out that it looks like you know it's more of a, a love offer okay a new love offer then i will pursue that as well in the extended all right so you have the moon card you have the chariot and you have the page of wands wow new beginnings written all over this and you have the strength card so you have strong leo energy you got the sun and the moon here right oh actually not the sun here you have the strength card and the moon card here so i want to call out the signs um i may have called out some of them but we do have fire energy here aries leo sad we have your energy pisces cancer scorpio strong cancerian energy strong leo energy and uh definitely your energy there with the moon card and if i didn't say it we have capricorn taurus and virgo so here you are okay i love this card in this deck um I feel like this is you sitting pretty Pisces, right? I feel um, this is an energy here where you may not be able to see where things are going at this time, but I definitely see some sort of change here, right? I see forward movement here with the chariot. This is the second time we've had the chariot in this reading. I think it was on the bottom of the deck earlier. But uh, this is an energy here where you're taking control, right? You're moving forward. You're headed for success here. So there is no stopping you. <laughs> there is no stopping you now. And I feel it's an energy here, right, of strength, okay? It's your strength here that has gotten you through, all right, through this transition, this ending here, this transformation that I am seeing. And then you have the Page of Wands. So some sort of communication that's coming in that's going to help bring forward movement, like I said, uh, something passionate coming your way, some sort of offer, some sort of proposal. Could new be a new love or somebody returning because I do see um, an energy here where there is an on and off relationship or an unbalanced relationship here. So, but this is also about you being passionate, you moving forward, okay? There's something bigger coming in for you, something where there's going to be a lot of growth and prosperity here. So, very positive reading for you, Pisces. I feel like you may have gone through a period, Pisces, where um, you were feeling that things were unbalanced or there was some sadness, okay? For some of you, may even some depression here. But I feel that once this uh, offer comes in, this good news here, I feel uh, it's going to change things for you. You're going to feel a shift, definitely a change and movement forward. And you're going to feel very passionate about it. So let's uh, pull some cards, get some guidance here for you, Pisces. All right, look at that. First card you have is harmony. Yes, you're going to feel at peace and you're going to feel harmony about your situation. This also can be, you know, your soulmate here. Uh, two of you uh, are 
undeniably can't be separated, right? I feel there's an energy here where this person is returning or maybe you're meeting the soulmate, right, of your dreams. Look at that firm foundation. Yes, there's there's something coming in very strong for you. This is either this relationship is going to move to a place where things are going to be solid, things are going to be strong, uh, or it's this offer coming in for you. It's going to be more stable than what you were dealing with in the, in the past, and you're going to overcome this imbalance here with the two of pentacles. Very nice, Pisces. Let's get one more card. Look at that. Memories of love. Yeah, nostalgia here. So I'm definitely getting this is an energy here uh, for a lot of you. This is going to be, you know, soulmate energy. Okay, a love situation, somebody that you are dealing with here. Okay, somebody who holds you in high regard. And uh, very positive there for you, Pisces. Okay. Some of you, you know, you may, uh, I feel here too, if this is not about love for you, this is about gaining your footing here, a solid foundation, and making new memories, right? Seeing the bigger picture because there's a lot of growth and a lot of opportunity in this reading here for you. So very abundant energy for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I am going to take it to the extended for those of you who are dealing with a love situation. So I hope to see you on the extended. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.